website www.kwanabatv.com all the social media handles ni nyina eye kwanaba tv wo video bi eye interesting a pese di ho nkomo a number ni go screen so no wo beti media fa so whatsapp number ni aka e ho asem wo pese eye wo interview so a number na na wo so no free ne fa topic na pese e discuss no en so fa kan e ho e be eye wo interview kama kama ni mo mo kwa kai so be subscribe to channel no ni wo mi adoma no so for notification me didi papa wo bo ase aha ye kwanaba television mesre mo se mo like mo be share na mo mi adoma so ma ye Sana ba ekono ba tsanasepe o bad life ana mo hu pia aha e ekono ba television obeti ma visit your website www.ekonobatv.com all the social media handles ni nyina e ekono ba tv wo video bi e interesting a pese di ho nkomo a number ni go screen so no obeti media fa so whatsapp number ni aka e ho asem wo pese e wo interview so a number na na e wo so no free ne fa topic na pese e discuss no en so fa kan e ho e be e wo interview kama kama ni mo mo kwa kai so be subscribe to channel no we me adoma no so for notification me didi papa wo ase aha ya kona ba tv for tani for tani ma africa ma hle for tani se zo sa sekai sa se south africa e kamalam di muslim di lo ka no fail intombi omkhosa uma mpi ngumbalo ba qosha into mtwana um podcast yam e bizo ngo ba and scramble life with uslim dile today i want to introduce this guy obizo ngo james boateng So before I say anything to you I am a Tsa lady from South Africa. Okay. And I am following your craft. You started with your language so let me also start with my language. Because <laughs> <laughs> you started with your language. All right. I was for another sister is obetwa me interview. Or say why your page and then some why can also watch it. Why interview how crowd I'm not your program da. Me be do South Africa and say and then one so be me twa me interview. And I'm saying no problem. I'm going to try my interview. And the end of the meeting, yeah, you will be trying my interview. Also, we'll be some questions. Uh, and the affair you made the medium. And to say, you know, a Kwanaba family, no, she's also part of a Kwanaba family. Yes. I never knew a Kwanaba family is that huge. Mm-hmm. That we even have courses. Yes. Uh, being part of the family. Uh, yes. Welcome to a Kwanaba family. Thank you so much. It's a serious family. Mm. Anyway, you wanted to say something and yes. then I just chip in. And they push for the make me the blow for the film. Me manum tin, it in me blow for the kakra. And then they move and then me be a rest rest control me kakra. Eh madam, okay. I'm listening to you. Okay. As a Kosa lady from South Africa, mm-hmm. I follow your craft. Isn't that doesn't that make you curious how do I follow your your craft why do you speak entry and i don't even understand anything so you need to entry. tell me more Ask how how me. no how, how do you follow the page and then understand whatever we discuss on the page how do you do this <sighs> you know what um for me what got me interesting to be interested in your craft it's because of your captions most of times because okay you mostly you write in english mm-hmm. so that's how i got hooked with interesting topics that you would have and another thing that did help me it's um, most of um your people they they comment in english mm-hmm. so i would understand what's the con the, the contents the context that at that time oh, okay so you understand our programs based on the captions yes. and then the comment section mm-hmm. oh okay okay yes okay. that's how i started following you and mm-hmm. then sometimes i would love obvious sometimes you post things that are in english and then i would understand more what is it all about mm-hmm. so that's how i started to follow you i see jordan alumenu boko dia jordan is asking you what is new uh, jordan the whole new sister so be try me interview to the whole no part ak also what you will be a party kim chantibu ni michi or lisa to form which are phyllis and philip or sebo's which are not to i'm just greeting the family and that's a usual thing you, you said you follow my page so you know the rules already yeah, yeah, of course uh, okay so now yes. now the platform is yours this is my platform but i've given it to you for today yeah yeah what is your problem there, there are certain <laughs> things that are, i'm curious um, okay. to know so i hope you will answer me the best way you know how yeah. the first thing i want to know who is james boateng I bet I am a child. James Boateng is a name. Uh, I am born in Ghana, from Ashanti region, okay. uh, Obuasi, to be specific. Yeah. What is what is Ashanti? If you could if if you could help me with that, because there was a day I heard you talking about Ashanti, and I was like, what is that? Is it is it a tribe? Is it a cult? And as and as Kwanza says, hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, I, I better I better say I should tell you uh, hear about you 
uh, Alberta is the sex teacher on this platform. Uh, she's a she's a sex doctor. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ashanti is a kingdom. Okay. Ashanti kingdom. Uh, if you type it on the internet, you just see the king. That's a uh, tune for or say to two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Ashanti is a kingdom. Yeah, I would say a kingdom. Can it's I? not. It's not just a. It's just. They're just a group of people. I mean, it's a collective. Uh, we have sixteen regions in Ghana, okay. and I believe most of the sixteen regions, most of them are in yeah, Ashanti. Ashanti. Yeah, so, so as, a, as a South African woman or whoever who's a South African who would want to join, is it something that it's limited within you Ghanaians or anyone who wants to be part of it can be one? You just need to respect the king, and also uh, we, we call something sikeja. Okay. Sounds like a cult when you say that. No, no, no. <laughs> Sikeja. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we worship Sikeja. We assume Sikeja. That is, we worship Sikeja. So if you respect our kin. And then how will one like me, mm-hmm. who doesn't know what to do and what what not to do in, within the kingdom, is there anyone who would teach me those things? Is there a cause to do that or... I will just have to do it. The you said you wanted to know more about me, so you came close to me to interview me, so you can know me more, right? Okay. So if you want to know the Ashantis, you need me. to get close to them and learn their ways. Okay. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> and I want to know, um, how long have you been in South Africa now? South Africa. Mm. I'm just here two months, one month, I'm in and out like this. Okay. And how, how has it been treating you so far? South Africa is a great place. Yes, nice place. Nice weather. Mm. Mm, the weather uh, is it, the, the behavior of the weather is that of the mindset of South Africans, you know. <laughs> it, it switches, you know, it switches. They can decide to loot a shop within two seconds, okay. and they can decide to fill in back within two seconds. So, the weather is, is, is like the mindset of South Africans. South Africans, yeah. you mean that they, 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 they're not stable? Is that what no, you mean? Yeah, their minds is, uh, I don't know who you I don't know. Oh. Maybe somebody's operating their mind somewhere. So sometimes it switches and then, you know. My yeah. South Africans, are you listening to Echo Number? What is he saying? But anyway, so what are your challenges that you've encountered in South Africa? Like, because mostly everybody in the world, they know that we have a high rate of unemployment and we have a high rate of crime. And then we have this thing that is called load shedding. So I need to understand your challenges. Have you been in a situation where you caught up that you're not safe and how do you cope with the load shedding because of the line of work that you do it needs you to have lights all the time a lot of people die on desert but people live on desert hmm. you understand people travel to libya travel to italy to the desert they die on the desert mm. but some is living there somebody has his house family there on the desert okay so south africa the crime rate is high but you are living here. You are not hurt. Okay. Yeah. I'm here. I'm not hurt. Mm-hmm. It depends on where I go. If you want to be hurt, you know where you go. You will get hurt. Okay. You understand? And then talking about um, how I feel about South Africa, the load shedded. You understand? Mm-hmm. You even have a timetable. I think you started. How, uh, for how long have you been? Since, uh, okay. This is how this thing it happened. We were introduced. We were introduced to load shedding two o nine because of we had a, a World Cup. Okay, that so was so two o nine, and then they told us it, it was a temporal thing. Okay, so so that it started from two o nine. Two o twenty ten to be precise. That's when it. Started. So how many but years it now? It wasn't toxic as it is now. So how many years now? It's been over ten years. Over ten years, yeah. load shedding. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's the only issue. Because it's affecting jobs, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but still, I'm working. And when you came, you no, know, you just need to get yourself a plant. Okay. So when the lights goes off, you switch. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. But wh- why? Why are you guys not crying or complaining or insulting the government uh, about the light, the low shed for ten years? You know, with my country, I'm sorry that I I want to to laugh about this, but it's so crazy that there are things that we ended up making them as a norm like corruption in south africa it's normal mm. um, like they, they expose the government who have you know put us in this situation now it, it becomes a joke we make everything a joke i think we have accepted 
how things are. People will they do things and then they get away with them. So we in this situation because of it's out there that people, the executives who are in charge of their power stations and all that, they ate billions and it's out there. It's like that. I hope they're not going to crucify me for this, but yeah, it's there. It's 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 normal to us now. And then now they came up with um, solar systems. So for for ten years now, now you guys think it's even normal. It, we uh, see it normal. Uh, normal. The government again mm-hmm. came back to us and said, um, "We're thinking because of we have this situation, let's opt to solar system." And you know we have low shed in Ghana for I think uh, this year. They started this year. And, you know what I'm saying? And then for? and then the whole the whole Ghana is on fire, you know? It started like that even in us. I just hope your government didn't adopt the bad habits from Anyway, our- anyway, it's living office this uh, this year. Mm-hmm. So the next person coming, I don't know what's happening anyways. But even it's even to us, it's not like we've been having this president for ten years. Mm. But now it's this thing that uh we have people who are not honest about anything, but that's not what we're all about. So as I said that now they introduce solar system. But now, still, the government said we need we have to pay for them. It's mm-hmm. like how do, who pays for a son that comes from God? But that's oh. how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> and then another important thing that I, I I want to know: what inspired you to become a a, con- a content creator, and how long have you been in this industry? I think twenty twenty. I started twenty sixteen. Yes. Mm-hmm. 2016 because I was in Israel 2015. Okay. So I started 2016. And um it all started when I learned how the Jewish do their thing mm. in Israel. Okay. How they worship the God of Israel mm-hmm. because when you say the God of Israel you all know is for the I mean the Jews, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I watch how they do their things out that side. Mm-hmm. And I compared it to Ghana, my country. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, let me do education. Okay. Let me help people to know what's happening here. Maybe they can take their own decisions. Okay. So that's how it started. Okay. So far so good, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So as I, I, I follow you, you are good in exposing fake pastors. I'm calling it good for my side because it makes sense to me. Okay. So you are good in exposing uh, these fake pastors, obviously, with factual things that you produce every time you provide. I mean, every time when you do that. Um, I want to know that, do you really think that it's necessary for you to be out there and expose them to, to the world? To be out there, how? A corner to the world, isn't it? Okay. And you are exposing fake pastors. Mm-hmm. And you always provide evidence okay what 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 is it that makes you think that it's necessary for you to reach out and expose them uh, the bible said lack of knowledge my people will perish you know so i think i'm sharing some knowledge okay. and sharing is caring yeah true okay so i'm just sharing some knowledge out there and it's not by force mm. it's either you choose it or you you go and then you get duped because they will dupe you whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you come back and then testify. Mm-hmm. So it's better for me to let you know than you take your own decisions. Okay. And what I want to know is while you you in that, obviously, people, they listen, others, they dispute with you. Others are still blinded. Others, they found light in it. Right. I, I, I always worry. Don't you get... They, don't you find other people intimidating you or send maybe being scared that they might send people to hurt you in this whole thing that you're doing? Because personally, I feel like it's a dangerous thing to do. Even the word fear, when you have it, you will die early. Hmm. So you are not supposed to be fearful of what you're doing. Since you know what you're saying, the truth, you might be bold and say it. But do you, do you find other people that do they believe that you're speaking the truth? A lot of people. You, you believe it, yes? I do. That okay. is why I'm here. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> that is why I'm And I'm, I'm here. not just speaking. I'm speaking based on evidence, you know. Okay. So I am not scared of what I'm doing because I'm saying the truth. And then another important part I want to ask. We are, we are Africans. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, 
been other pastors that you've exposed to, they, they perform cults and all that. Aren't you scared? That's the part I want to know, that they might attack you spiritually. Because sometimes they say life is the reflection of what you give it to. Mm -hmm. So with you, aren't you scared that maybe they might, they might harm you in that way? If you believe what you don't know, it comes on you. So I don't want to believe it. Whether you have power or not, I don't care. That's not my problem. You understand? If you have power and I speak about you, hmm. you are not supposed to go to police station. You are not supposed to call uh, maybe the militant. Hmm. You are not supposed to call the security or me or threat me. Hmm. Just go into the spirit and do your thing. Why are you calling police? They don't have any power, okay? So I'm not scared of whatever they are worshipping. The occult or whatever. That's their problem. You Do understand? you go to church, mister? Let me finish with my your sorry, question. Sorry. But I'm not sorry. done with your question. <laughs> I'm not done with your question, sorry. okay? <laughs> you understand? So, <laughs> whether they are occult or rituals, whatever, I don't care. Hmm. That's their problem to fix. I'm telling you the truth with evidence. Alright? Hmm. And because I'm telling them the truth, they can't do anything. Okay. What they what they can do is just talk to the police, to the court. You understand? Have you ever been in a situation where they sent you to court? No, 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 no. Okay. That's what I'm saying because I have evidence. I'm not just talking. So if you take me to court, I will bring the evidence. Hmm. So there's no need for you to take me to court. Just meet me and then maybe you beat me. Okay. There's nothing you can do in the spirit. You understand? Because they are doing awkward as you said mm. and then you are living in the darkness mm. i am light mm. and then the bible said light and darkness has nothing in common yeah, yeah. so once they are in the dark and i'm light they cannot come close to me because there's no gray color yeah we don't okay. have anything in common do you go to church yeah what's the name of the church you go to the church in me. What does that mean? I'm the church. How? I am the church. Why must I go to one place for more than three times for me to be advised? Automatically, I'm a fool. Hmm. You understand? Why must I go there? And then you tell me what to do. The next week, I'll come. You tell me what to do. You're being foolish. Because you know very well what you're doing is wrong. That's why you are going there to ask for forgiveness. So, as you... So, I am the church. As you mentioned that you are a church, how do you pray? What, what is it that you do? Do you, do, you, do you stay at home, sing a song, read a Bible, and pray to God? Your did, God? did you know how Jesus prayed? He just does go to the mountains mm -hmm. and then speak silently and then come back. That's how I do it. Okay, you, you know why I'm asking you this? As you mentioned that you are a church, <laughs> you, 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 do, you, do you feel that it's not necessary for us to go to church? Like a building where there's a congregation. You call it building, you know? Mm. You call it building. Now this is the church. We are the church. You understand? That building you are calling, a lot of troubles that side. You cannot even go to the altar to give, I mean, collection or tithe without taking your bag. Hmm. It's a problem that side. You understand? So what happened when there was coronavirus? Did you go to we church? Were, we were, In the we house? Were locked, uh, yeah, we were locked down. You wash your hands with the warm water, you know, you cover your nose. Hmm. You never went to church no. for more than six or, I don't know. Almost a year. And what, what happened if God came, I mean, Jesus came? Without you waiting, for to church. Us to, waiting for us at church, we wouldn't be able to go. That's what I'm saying. No. What happened if judgment day was to happen that time? Mm. You've not been to church. Mm. You're in your house, house. indoors. Mm. You understand? So it's not necessary for us to go to church, period. Did you pray when you there was a coronavirus time? I was praying. Okay, you prayed inside. Yes. And did God listen to you? Yeah, because I believe that God listens to me wherever I am. Okay, so what is your problem? You, you know what, speaking of that, I become so conflicted mm -hmm. with my history when it comes to churches. Okay. Um, we have certain churches in my country where 
we, we, we say God of who. Like okay. I was in a church called Shembe. Okay. And I was trained that when I pray, I should say, I, I have to pray to Shembe so that Shembe can send my message to God. And then when I became wiser, or let me say a bit older, it didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Because now I was like, but this Shembe is in the flesh as well. Okay. But they say I should pray to him Mm -hmm. so that he can be the one who can talk to God. Okay. So, okay, I always hear you. You always say, know your God. You always say that. Know your God. You know your God. So it just just came back, I mean, to the time of Corona. Mm Mm-hmm. Did you but pray the, through the shame or whatever? No, but now I become conflicted sometimes because we're like, why? Is, it feels like God because if you are if you are praying through the God of Shemesh, yes. I don't know this yeah, God. It's okay, do you know the kind of sacrifice we do for this God? Because if you say God, you said nothing. Who is God? What is God? Hmm. What is God? You cannot say you are praying through the God of Ekwanaba. Do you know my God? No. Do you know the kind of food my God likes? Do you know how I pray to my God? Do you know the kind of sacrifices I do for my God? And why are you praying to my God? Do you have personal encounter with my God? That's so deep. <laughs> so why are you talking about somebody as God? Where is your God? Hmm. Now, as you were speaking, um, you mentioned tithe. And I've heard you, you've been vocal about that. I remember <laughs> even the time you were interviewing uh, Bishop Maponga. Yeah, Bishop Mapunga, yeah. You, you dwelled on that for a while with him. The Titan thing. The Titan, and <laughs> then sometimes I even hear you, and then there was this video that um, you, there was this live you went on now, uh, when they were talking about, is it CDs? Mm-hmm. Five CDs, they were, there's, there's a song that they were dancing to. Oh, uh, the so bolo. CDs, oh, oh, okay, this means you'll be watching my video, <laughs> so bolo. <laughs> I was dancing to that song as well, 10 ah, CDs, yes? yeah, ah, yeah. But I didn't know what was there, but I know that your currency is CDs or something. So you were enjoying so it the music. it was money, 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 everything, like people, you celebrating that you're going to go there and pay 10 CDs, so bolo. CDs, so okay. bolo, which is now, it means that I'm going to pay their willingness, happy, okay. right? But... You always vocal about this. What should we do as a congregation when we have uh, the, the who they call them men of men of God? And who am I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if they are men of God, you said you have your own God. No, if they are men of God, and who am I? You are men, men of, of your God men as of well. men of good or what? We are all men of God. No more, nobody is men of good or monkey. We are all men of God. Okay, I get that, but what what is it that we should do as a congregation? Because sometimes, because I want to be accepted. I'm talking from an experience. I want to be accepted in a certain church. Mm-hmm. I don't have bread in my house. You want to be accepted in a certain church? Not the certain. Let's say, when I say certain church, I I, I go to this church. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Kwanaba, a bishop a Kwanaba. Okay. I go to his church. Mm-hmm. I don't have bread in my house. But if I don't tithe, it feels so wrong as if I'm not part of the congregation. And uh, I want so, to be so you are paying you are paying the tithe because it's, it's feelings. It feels so wrong. Because it's it's what we were told to do that we need to tithe, right? So as Uslindi now, who's so lost, what to do? Mm-hmm. I have only this twenty rand. It's either I give it to my pastor. Or I buy bread at home, and I'm <laughs> conflicted. What advice would you give me? Buy bread, buy bread at home. What about my your what? My men of God. <laughs> <laughs> what about my church? <laughs> and I told you before that you are the church. You are the church. Okay. Is it wrong to tithe? Yeah, it's wrong to tithe. Any pastor who tithes tithe is a criminal. It's a criminal one. Very, I mean, the, the notorious one. You know the mafias, mm. the mafias in Mexico. <laughs> you understand? They, I they, see them on the movies. Yeah, they are the real mafias. Any pastor who takes tight is, is a mafia mm-hmm. street. Yes, he, he doesn't come close to Mekisedek. Who's yeah. that? You've been paying tight. You don't even know Mekisedek. No. <laughs> are you for? You don't know Mekisedek, and you pay tight. 
That's why I grew up they said 10% it's either you contribute with your hands or if you working you tithe with 10% of whatever that you receive. So you know you very well you are not a Christian because you were born in a Christian community. Jesus never called you. Do you blame do, me? Do, do you know that? Exposed to that? Listen, Jesus never called you. You are not a Christian. If you are a Christian, you know how to live a Christian life. Because Christianity is not a religion, it's a lifestyle. That's why when they go to Antioch, their lifestyle depicts that of Christ. So they call these guys, ah, these are the Christians. I mean, these are the followers of Christ. So for you, if you were born in a Muslim community, by now you've been Amelia or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll be calling Rafika mm-hmm. or Rafia too. You understand? So you are worshiping Christ because you were born into it. Who who should I blame my mother? You can't blame anybody. <clears throat> you understand? Anybody who puts his blame on somebody else is a failure. You must be responsible for your own problems. Maybe you don't know now you know. So you fix it. Don't point your fingers on somebody else. That is your problem. Fix it. That's it's giving me a, a, a it's it's giving me some feels you know because um as you said that we were born there we were exposed to it and we 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 were taught that it's the right thing to do and how one steps to that if maybe you would discover that after 30 years that or all along i've been living this and this is not the right way at the very same time you conflicted because of that's the only thing you know what you were taught when you were a child that is why the community is still poor you understand the 10% is supposed to be given to the poor ones in the community the mm. 10% is supposed to be given to the widows in the community mm. the orphans in the community and that makes you a, a true worshiper of god according to james 1:27 Okay. Actually what you, what you're saying right now it's leading to the question that I was about to ask you. Okay. Uh, I've witnessed that you you have provided many opportunities for other people, right? Okay. Um and how does that makes you feel maybe when you're having your moments, your thoughts and all that knowing that there's someone out there is able to provide bread for their families because of you a time is coming everybody is going to mourn his own body his own dead body mm-hmm. you understand what i'm saying a time is coming okay everybody is going to mourn his or her own dead body yeah. now i don't have a mother i don't have a father mm. i'm like them yeah yeah you understand so the kind of path you take it will take you there at the end of the day it's like when my father died there were these friends of mine who was calling a corner but ah it's um is the bible says um we live for christ we die for christ whatever so okay it's fine and when their own died they are crying i said no no the message you sent me the bible said when you live you live for christ <laughs> when you die you die for christ okay. you understand mm. so if i'm helping the poor or the widow the orphan now i am the same person my mother and my father they are all dead i'm like them you understand and then whatever i do will reflect to me to my generation beautiful i like that i like that and where do you see yourself in five years time from now taking over a corner back to the world you know the story already so a <laughs> corner <laughs> to the world Oh, because I said it because I was like a corner back to the world because that's what it, your things are written. So yeah, a corner back so to the world. In five years' time, you see a corner back to the whole world. To the whole world, and now South Africa. So I'm going to start uh, some lessons mm-hmm. in English podcasting okay. with South Africans. Yes, and then Please. also let them share their views on this platform. Yeah, yeah. You understand. Mm-hmm. So it goes it leads me to my next question. You are a traveler. You love traveling. As you said, a kwanaba to the world. Is that the reason that you always travel? You you want to have an idea of the places that you want to spread yourself. So you you, you go there to explore so that you can know or make a decision that you want to be part of that community or what? 
I remember when I first wanted to travel out of Ghana. <laughs> and I don't know anybody anywhere. Yeah. I have families outside from my father's side. They don't care about us. Yeah. So it was difficult for me to get visas, you know. Mm. By then. Because if you had no one that they can help me go there. Che- oh, maybe check if maybe you're saying you're traveling to South Africa to I don't know, yeah. So you didn't no cash, have nothing. Okay. No cash, no t- nothing. Mm. So I planned towards that that I would do it without the help of anybody. So you have to read about any country you want to visit. Mm. That's how it started. So I traveled to any country I want to go with the requirement of that country's embassy. Mm. You understand? Okay. So you see yourself traveling the whole world. Now is the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now is the time. Okay. Speaking of not having support to things are you open to sponsorships it's, a, it's another problem for me mm. because um if you sponsor me it will end in tears oh, wow. you understand What does because that mean? at the end of the day uh, you will do something bad and you love for me to speak to you back door so we fix it back door mm. yeah I, i'm not the back door guy I'll bring it public. So, what are you saying? I'm saying if you sponsor me and anything yeah, happens, I cannot hide it. I will say it. So, enter at your own risk. Yeah. So, if you want to sponsor, it's fine. But bear in mind that I cannot hide your criminality. So, I will say it. Yeah, you, you are in no-go zone. Yeah, I cannot protect you. So, you rather not start that thing. Huh? Rather not allow anyone to sponsor you if you know that it might not end well. That's why that's why my wife is sponsoring me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then another thing I want to know, what's your definition of spiritual an- alignment? Spiritual alignment. Mm. Hmm. We are all in a spiritual being, you know. Mm. When I sleep, I'm done. When I wake up, I am awake. Mm. For me, I think I have to think about what is happening on earth concentrate on what is before me okay. what i can see i can feel in the flesh uh-huh. you understand i don't have time in the spirit you understand i don't have time in the spirit if you want to be in the spirit go into the spirit but there isn't this there's this famous thing that people always say that oh i'm a spiritual being oh i'm i'm spiritually inclined hmm. so they should go and live in the spirit and then we that want to live on earth But Leave I thought I thought you balance such spirituality and after after flesh. after being a spiritual man, what else? And then what? Can you develop a car? Can you uh, <laughs> do you bring anything knowledgeable on it? It's just seeing this, this, this. As I'm speaking to you now, you believe in spirit? Mm, yeah, I've never experienced any. Thinking about spirits, but you want, I hear that they, they, they are spirits and you, roaming. And you want to experience it? No. Because I'm as not. I'm speaking to you now, your mother is standing at the back of you. <laughs> I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No. Why? Because I know you don't have that gift. I don't have that gift. I can see your mother. Your mother is standing there. Why <laughs> you don't believe me? Why, why should she be seen by you instead of me, That's what her I'm child? Saying. So anything that you cannot give evidence to is meaningless. Cuz you can just hold your hands. Ah, I can see a hole in your hands. And you believe this. Do you think we invest much in seeking such things as as human beings like we desperate to to reach that spirituality and all of that this like that what we doing go eat snakes because of we so desperate to define and and find spirituality within us Africans need to grow you know this spirit 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 thing to me it doesn't make sense hmm. you've not even finished thinking about physical why what are you going to do in the spirit <laughs> hmm? 
Okay. When we started, you said this country you are on load schedule for almost 10 years. Over 10 years. You've not finished thinking about that. You are going to the spirit for what? Finish the load schedule. After that, you go to the spirit. Yeah? Finish with the, your rules. Finish with your job opportunities. After that, you go to the spirit. You, you move to the spirit. For now, think about those ones on earth. The reality. Yeah. And then later, you go to the spirit. Okay. And what is your aspiration? Aspiration? Mm. <laughs> Rico is saying there is nothing called spirit. <laughs> okay. I think I should learn more a bit about that. I think I should learn more about that because, you know, this world we're living at, it's, it's, there's a lot. You can read it. Read it. Uningi, uningi ya. You can read it. Uningi, 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 <laughs> we need to use the brain. Read it aloud so they can. <laughs> okay. Um, Charles, um, Jordan said we need to use the brains. Charles says, Pastor, okay. And then Rika, there's nothing called spirits. The Bible only speak of of only seven spirits before the the throne of God. So how can someone go into the spirit? Hmm. Okay. I guess I I, I should just. Focusing on other things, the reality, as you said. So, South Africans, you know that um, what we are talking about, you understand, we want to fix issues. Hmm. We are not ready for any spirit. But that's what we're focusing more on, isn't yeah. it? Isn't it? Hmm. We're focusing on. That is why your a lot of things is not happening in your country because you are all in the spirit. Hmm. You are busy in the spirit looking hmm. for. Uh, aliens looking for and Adam, me, Adam, Eve, uh, Paul, it, it, Peter. It, it, it's so funny that I'm not saying this in a mockery way, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying this uh, because I'm judging people who choose what they choose. But do you know the rate of Sangomas that has been initiated in the past five years in mm -hmm. my country? It's a lot. Like, if you're like, Oh, even yourself, you're a Sangoma. Even yourself, like even yourself, everybody now is turning into a Sangoma. So that is why I was saying to you, people, they looking for spiritual and, and, and alignment and inclined. Mm, okay. I asked, what is your aspiration? Because <laughs> <laughs> we all have that. My aspiration uh -huh. is to be in a peaceful space. Okay. In and out. I'm talking about me, right? Okay. That's my aspiration. And now I had to first learn that you cannot look for peace if you're not a peaceful person. Mm -hmm. You cannot look for peace, but you don't even understand what is peace. So okay. what is your aspiration? That is to see my wife smiling every day. Hmm. That's beautiful. And it's doing right by her. That's all. Yeah. Any regrets in your life? No, because whatever I caused or whatever happened to me, I caused it. I don't regret it. Isn't, shouldn't we all have that in us? Sometimes you regret and deal with it, acknowledge, forgive yourself, and, and, and before mm. maybe. Whatever and happens. And then you go through feelings. I mean, you go through feelings, isn't it, when you regret before you fix it? I think about things I can fix, not things I cannot fix. You understand? Things that happens in the past is already gone. Why must I think about this 2024? <laughs> it's gone, you know? Let's, but sometimes, let's focus. You, sometimes you become what you are because of your past, isn't it? The good ones, fine. The bad ones, let it go. Okay. And... What is the definition of love in general to you? How do you perceive love in general? To me? Mm. You ask to me, yes? Yes, to you. That is why I said to you. Okay. Yes. Love is cash. How? If you have cash, you have love. But they say love can, uh, money cannot they buy say, love. They say, forget about it. You said me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love is cash. When you have cash, you get love. When you are poor, you don't have love. Love is cash. 
how did you end there? How did you land to that love is, is cash? Because there are people who have money out there, but they don't find warmth in it. They don't feel loved through it. So how did you learn the way you learned that love is... The good? Bible said you enjoy your fruit. So if you work for your money, you get the love. Okay. My brother once said this to me. He once said, he wrote, he wrote me a letter. He said, I've noticed that you don't believe in love. Mm-hmm. And you not believing in love, it means that you don't believe in God. Okay. Because God is love and love is God. Okay. That's what he said. Even today, I, I tried to understand and ask him, what did you mean by that? He said, it's like that. So mm-hmm. if you don't believe in love, it means you don't believe in God. And if you don't believe in God, it means that you don't believe in love. Yeah. And here you are, you believe that Yeah, that's the cash. truth. That is the truth. Because if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in what? Your brother said what? You don't believe in love. Okay. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. If Mm -hmm. I see you as God, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I'm doing something that is going to hurt you. Because Mm -hmm. I see you as God, I will not do it. Hmm. You understand? But I'm I'm thinking that there's a God somewhere else that you are not closer to that God. This pastor or this guy is closer to that God. Mm -hmm. So I'll give respect to this pastor more than you. Because he is closer to that God. But if I see you as God in you. So you said love love is cash. For me, love is cash. So you show love by giving money. You don't get it. I don't. That is why I'm <laughs> maybe I'm still into it. <laughs> because now when you say love mm. is cash, to it me. means that someone to show love to you, they have to give you cash or should if you have to show love to someone you have to give them cash that's how i'm understanding it so that now i've been traveling i've been traveling around making some money coins mm. helping the poor helping the needy maybe one or two guys one or two friends and losing money, losing money. Mm. when i'm broke now they all turn their back on me but not everyone i feel like you're generalizing to me yeah there yeah, it's true yeah maybe according to your, <laughs> maybe according to your experience in life you understand so love is cash when you have love everybody will come close they will show you love real love but when you have money no love and then in, in that manner most if you know that those people they will be here because of money you cannot define that as love that's fake that's not my problem. My problem is James 1 27. He said I should help the needy, mm. the poor, the orphan, the So widow. you relate well to that, uh, to that script because and you I'm, are James too. I'm James too. <laughs> so I'm doing what James is saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I, hear you. I, I have one last question mm. that it bothers me sometimes when I'm alone because they always say that we shouldn't pay attention to what people think of us or what they say about us. But for me, I think, again, it's important um, to hear remarks about you because sometimes they, they, they help you to be disciplined in life, isn't it? When you sometimes worry what another person thinks about you or what they say about you. What do you want to be, rem- to be remembered for? To be remembered for? To be remembered for, yes. Mm. giving what I have back to the society. That is um, what I learned through all my travels, educating the public, the masses, letting them know what is good and what is right. They know, but they are afraid to practice it. I want people not to be afraid of these pastors anymore. They are human beings. They don't have any spirit, no power, nothing. I want them to understand that. I want them to know God for themselves. Mm-hmm. You understand? To build their own personal relationship with God by themselves. Okay. 
So is that what you want to be remembered for? Yeah. If, if let's say hypothetically tomorrow, God comes to you, your God comes to you and say, James, I'm here to fetch you. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I came to fetch you. To what where? would be your answer? To I'm, where? I'm taking you, my child. I'm taking you to the spiritual world. And what What would you say to God? Nothing. Your God. Would, nothing. Would you, would you say, I'm ready, God, take me, or you would negotiate that I'm not done with my purpose in, in, in this world? I don't have a choice. I think I think I would negotiate to to yeah. keep me for a while. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I think I would say, God, I don't think I've accomplished uh, my purpose in this life. Can you please give me an extra twenty years? I think I would do that uh, okay. because of you'd be given an opportunity. As I said, you'd be given an opportunity that you can negotiate. Would you negotiate? No, I don't have time. That's a spirit talking, right? Yeah, let's say God is spirit, yes. Yeah, and okay. say now, my child, um, I came to take you in this trouble. So the go- the God is coming in spirit, <laughs> right? I don't know. I've never spoken with him. That is why I said you are asking me about this. I said okay. I said hypothetically. Okay. Those are the things that comes into my mind sometimes. So I so I'm God is spirit, is spirit, you know. Yeah. So I don't have to argue with the spirit. They should do whatever they want. So if I negotiate, it would show that I'm being disrespectful to his wishes. You are asking me a question, not <laughs> you. you. For you, you can decide. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> that is your problem. You have to fix it. Okay. okay. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Um, so there are comments. There are comments. That- Maybe you want to read it for them. <laughs> what comments? Maybe you want to read it for them. <laughs> Maybe they want to ask you questions, so I don't know. Okay, they can ask me. Uh, okay. So your podcasting, what do you do there? You yourself. In my podcast, actually, I, I'm open to anything because I'm, I'm, I'm very open-minded. Okay. Even though you said, uh, is it Auntie Betty who's, who does the... Auntie Betty? Who is Auntie Betty? I don't know. There's there's a lady you mentioned earlier that she she's a, a sexual. Uh, a ah, uh, Alberta, Alberta. That's that's where I'm heading. Oh, okay. Um, that that's where I'm heading. Um, but okay, ni Alberta, Alberta, many other former who also acquire what you might have been here, so you can talk to Alberta. Um, I'm, I've been doing a lot of research mm. about that, a lot of research, um, understanding the fetishes and all that. So that's where I'm heading, but. I'm, I'm, I don't want to box myself in a sense that this is a real world. Uh, it's not only, we're not here, we are not just sexual beings. There are other aspects of life. Um, so I want to be open, more especially things that happen in my country, like um, we are so exposed to polygamy. Mm. And to polygamy, it's 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 that people now they they don't know the purpose of it but they want to do it and i've i've discovered most of women who are married they would accept that the partner has a side chick mm. they accept and say ah he can go, he can go to her but she will come back okay it means that you have accepted a third person in your okay. in your marriage make it official bring her home Mm, that is what is happening in your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polygamy, mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's one of those. Um, the, I think one thing I won't entertain, it's, it's, poly, it's politics. Um, I'm not. Okay, so you are going to be talking about polygamy, sex. sex. And, okay. Yeah, most, I think that's where I'm heading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you are better when you're down for white, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's where I'm heading. So, that is why so you can talk to Abeta. Yeah. Abeta is the, the best. My podcast is called Unscramble Life. As- Unscramble Life with Slee. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, Jordan, I don't mean saying yeah, that is a good country. Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I mean, okay, what I can tell you is I grew up Kwashembe. Let me just maybe, uh-huh. let me just uh, summarize what Shembe is all about or what is well known of. Okay. Um, Ushembe, it's a, it's a church that it only, it's more like Sabbath. Mm-hmm. So from 6 on Friday, 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. until 6 p.m. on Saturday. Okay. Uh, there are certain things that we're not allowed to do, like um, you cannot eat hot food, 
you're not allowed to cook mm. like you cannot perform things you have to go to church mm. so we'll have two services in the morning and the afternoon so when you are a, a girl when you're a girl it means that um there are virginity tests that you, takes place okay so uh <laughs> jordan jordan alimanu is saying will you be one of my wives 100 one, 1001 already <laughs> yes 1001 we want to add you more <laughs> so maybe you can um, you can be part of jordan alumenus wives I, 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 for me I, 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 i don't have a problem with polygamy mm, okay i don't have a problem with polygamy but one has to have a valid reason why they want polygamy don't do it out of greed because mm. of other people they just do it because of they 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 are greedy or they have abilities of taking more than one wife because of they can provide and all that but at the end of the day being in a polygamy space you have to understand that even yourself you have to divide yourself because we I don't just need your money I need affection I need you to be here and that is why it end up now I think I think uh, this is your topic they will love it uh, I it shall it shall pass control you said polygamy is very good so when are you starting this <laughs> this your program i'm waiting for uzwe to come in a friend of mine because he's very vocal about it and he mm. says most of men want polygamy they want to be in a polygamy marriage but you godzilla did you say anything about virginity test yes i did oh, i was okay. i was i was talking about my church and then you read that oh okay so this is where i was going virginity test yes my church that i was okay not my previous church you were doing virginity test yes how do you do it because of now they're grooming you to get into marriage okay our church was we girls mm-hmm. girls from 6 p.m on friday mm-hmm. till 6 p.m on saturday mm-hmm. you don't wear panties hey right nice church very nice church. you don't wear panties so all you the ladies to church, all the yeah, ladies not no all pa- ladies virgins no, no panties no panties uh-huh. you go to church with no panties okay the rule is when you get there uh-huh. no man should look at you so we have white cloths that we cover ourselves with okay right mm-hmm. and then the only time we remove them it's during lunch time because of we gonna be there the whole day so mm-hmm. we're gonna eat and then later on we we dance naked That's the only th- you dance no, naked no no <laughs> no <laughs> we're dancing um um let's say men that side boys that side mm-hmm. women that side girls that side mm-hmm. so we dance and we we dancing because of we're gonna go to 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 a conference where there will be other um other people from our, the other branches okay. so we dance the same thing so you you have to know the routine and all that so mm-hmm. that's the only time people will see you mm. right somebody's asking so what is virginity test okay Other people they think that virginity test it's when someone has to put fingers inside your vjj in your church people no, assume no 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 I'm going there okay. people always assume that doing um, a virginity test someone who has to put their fingers in your vjj and by doing that obviously you're breaking me Mm-hmm. In my church this is how we did, we, we did it because of we have aunties who are 50 60 who are virgins mm-hmm. So they are the one 60 years, years virgin yes. in your church yes wow okay then we do have so we call them abo ad so aunties are the one who have to check us so there will be a specific time that the whole of south africa we go to the same place as girls okay a uh, to the mountains where we're gonna meet each, we're gonna meet as 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 girls mm-hmm. and then we go to 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 a river because of we have to bathe first mm-hmm. so we have to get to a, a river that flows and then afro afro topical says uh, you want to go to that church so it's fine <laughs> and then we, we it has to happen in the middle of the night we the bathe. virginity test we bathe first mm-hmm. we have to bathe in the dark okay bathe 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 and then we go to aunties okay this what happens mm-hmm. you open your legs mm-hmm. auntie looks you open the legs yes and then the auntie, auntie will looks. look okay the church aunties a reason, yes a reason that they they will know that you're still a virgin they say there's something that it's more like an eye that it's just there on the door of your vjj mm-hmm. that is why when you're breaking there will be a pain because of there's a there's a there's a flesh that it's been teared <laughs> okay 
Okay. But there's no way that you have to put fingers and all that. So you, you open your legs wide. You just wide. open wide. For the church and elders. then auntie would see the church eye. church auntie. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then now after that aunties will give feedback to Babu Shembe, which is the prophet of the church, the one that who who's an umbrella of all branches mm-hmm. that okay. Sorry. So where we we used to go. Mm-hmm. Sorry. As, as I've seen crazy things where others they will start confessing. Mm-hmm. That, no, I'm no longer a virgin. I was scared that my mm-hmm. family and 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 should they find you not being a virgin, your fam, your mom and dad, they should buy a cow to cleanse the church. <laughs> now, <laughs> after then, that's when now the polygamy come in comes in. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> in. So the aunties, they they mm. for aunties to watch. They're not watching. They're confirming that they, I'm still a. But virgin. they need to look and then yeah, confirm. Of course. Okay. Yeah, they have to check the eye. Okay. The eye of the VJJ should be there to show that no man has touched you. But uh. now, um, let's say maybe you are over twenty. Now mm-hmm. you're starting to date. Okay. You're allowed to date within the church, mm. and the person that you'll be dating understand the rules that you cannot put your dingling inside me. Mm-hmm. So we call it what we are soma. We are soma. We are soma. It means that you will just play between my thighs. Mm. In Ghana, you say unya soma. It's always we are soma. Soma. It means that you playing between my thighs. Okay. We playing. Or in the name of church. Yes. Okay. So we cannot have an actual sex. You cannot penetrate. Mm. So if you're my boyfriend, mm. and now we are older, and they understand that we're dating. Okay. I can sleep over, but you cannot. You cannot penetrate. Uh, we play between the thighs and maybe a foreplay and 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 until we both come. <laughs> How can they see that someone is not a virgin? Somebody is asking you. With the eye. The auntie will see with the eyes. Not her eye. Whose eyes? There's a a VJJ eye. VJJ eye. Yes. Okay. Which is obvious when you're breaking a virginity. There's a flesh that it's been teared. It's the one that. Okay. So so those watching, if they've broken a virginity before, they know the VJJ eye. Every woman has that the, flesh. The, it's oh. a. Fl- it's more like a flesh. It's a flesh actually that is. So what happens if if you are not a virgin? Then what? In our church, you go stay behind the the ladies, the the the, the mothers. And you somebody is the sixty years virgin. Yes. Wait, can, if, wait, if why, why, virgin, why, why? They choose not to. They they choose to to be sixty years. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. If you are no longer a virgin. Mm-hmm. And you've already stayed with virgins, and you were not honest about it. You will have to cleanse the church with the car. So, so I'm sorry with your Ghana. We be intimate this as we be. Now, sorry, Ben. I will be Ghana. You be my damn person who for play. Ono walu mo ni madingu aye jumano. Ano what thing? Wow. Your church. Okay, I do not. But I'm going to the polygam. Where I'm heading? Okay. The polygam. Okay, head to the polygam. Yes. So now, the following day. He said, "How many times do you have to go?" You, through this you go, uh, test you go you go quarterly quarterly four four times in a year four times in a yes. year okay yes because of we have to meet as all south african girls who who get into the church so it's in it's more like a, we are from different branches mm-hmm. and then there's an actual day so it, it takes a whole week okay. we, we have to be there the whole week mm. and then now when the aunties go report to Ubabu Shembe that oh your 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 girls they still pure and all that. I think people are interested in this church. They say they want to, <laughs> they want to you join your church. Guys, it's Shembe S H E M B E. Mm. Shembe. The good. Why? Why is it located? It's, it's only in South. Af- it's everywhere. It's it's it's. It's even in Ghana. No 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 no. In South Africa. Ah, before, in South Africa. Okay. It's it's originated from KZN. Okay. Originally, it's from KZN. Mm. That's where it was well known um, for. And then now, when they confirm the purity of girls, mm-hmm. there will be a celebration okay. for us. And then now we chant in the streets with with, with breasts, no bra, nothing. Ah. Yes. 
and then whatever that you have to wear it should show the butt cheeks a bit no bra no bra mm. you're a virgin Why the same church having? yes but now we hey. the church we chanting in the in the in the villages now celebrating that yes i'm still a virgin so what and then you are so dancing we chant, yeah we, we dance we sing no bra but no bra Nothing. and then men now are standing they watching. they watching men they watching <coughs> i'm going to the polygamy now <laughs> men are watching you, we chanting we go with our aunts each and every each and every branch has their own aunt okay we chanting with our aunts chanting with the breast and your butt cheeks has to show it so out. so how many times were you checked me <laughs> from when i was 9 until 17 you keep opening and then they are checking yeah okay. <laughs> of course don't don't put it like that no no the auntie yeah. you have to open wide and the auntie will check yes yes okay and then no, now no bra no bra no bra and then dancing yeah okay. we say kula and then we have maybe each and every branch the girls have a skirt mm-hmm. we have a skirt that shows that we from this branch a skirt mm-hmm. that shows that we from this branch okay and then whatever that you have to wear it mm-hmm. should just be able to close the kuchi and a bit off but your butt cheeks has to show a bit as well you're mm-hmm. a virgin so okay. there's nothing to hide that's what they said okay and then now this is what happens should a man see you and likes you mm-hmm. they have to find out who's the auntie of that ch- church mm-hmm. and then they go to that auntie and say i want that girl but mostly it's done by men who are already married ah yes <laughs> okay It's done mostly by men who are already married. The one that tear rubber. The tear the what? Tear rubber. I mean new car. They want to open the new car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now most of them uh, they come with excuses of they 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 are women they not uh, able to mm-hmm. give babies others the excuse is they are women uh, busy women so they can't be at home to do chores as wife others will tell you that i need a, 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 second, a, th- a second or third wife because of my brother mm-hmm. I, i have a brother who passed on so i have to marry for him we really love if somebody want to call and ask you a question mm-hmm. are you okay with yeah, that yeah yeah no okay problem. okay you continue okay so now uh, the 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 the, 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 the others they come that Uh, my great grandfather okay was not married so i have to marry for him so they come with different reasons okay and then now they will come to your family and say your daughter has been seen by this certain person and somebody is saying this south african indefinite visa <laughs> <laughs> and then now they will go communicate with your parents right you are still a virgin remember okay <laughs> and then this person has to come and pay before they sleep with you. They pay lobola. Lobola. Yes, okay. pay cows. cows. It's 11 cows. 11 cows. 11. Okay. The 11th one is called Nkomoga mama. It means it's the mother's cow. Nkomoga mama. Nkomoga mama. Nkomoga mama. Okay. It means that it's your mother's cow. It's the one for your virginity. Oh. It's I your see. mom who deserves that because of she's the one who's been teaching you to close legs. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And therefore, after that now, after they paid Ilobola. Okay. And then now people are coming to celebrate. Mm-hmm. Celebrating while they preparing a bedroom for you and and your husband. Okay. The aunties will be there. The aunties will be there. The aunties will be there. And mm-hmm. then they will have to have a white sheet. A white sheet. Yes. that you and your husband gonna use okay that they will take after you've died you done the deeds <clears throat> take it to the congr- take it to people who are there for celebration and say indeed she is a virgin because of there will be that blood mm, i see yes so mostly that's when i've learned about polygamy and i don't have a problem with that mm. so yeah. this is what happened in your church my previous church your previous I left, church i left the church 2004 <clears throat> uh, somebody says Rikus one says yes I want this lady but I can't get this cows. He can't ca- he can't get the cows. Uh, maybe it's expensive. Oh yeah. <clears throat> With me now going to my culture cuz Charles Charles is saying uh, he will pay 15 cows. 
so it's fine so 15 cows <laughs> okay. but with my culture when you have when you have kids they cut the cows mm-hmm. that you don't get that 11 cows because each and every cow has a meaning every cow has a meaning yeah, for 11th of 11 of them they have a meaning i see yeah so when are you starting this your podcast i have to talk to my bosses um, and also invite more of your friends to come on the show yeah, so yeah, we yeah. can learn from them yeah, too yeah 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 i will definitely do well, that today I, today mom, you taught us a lot of things about this uh, church like, uh, they are, yeah yeah washembe mm, i see anyway yeah. so you were the one interviewing me yeah. now i am the one interviewing you <laughs> because <laughs> of you were asking me about my podcast i see yes i see mm. okay so now i'm done with my questions thank you so much so are we done you are you done are you okay now <laughs> i d- yeah you answered all the things that i was curious oh, about okay yes so i was we got it we got here because of you were asking what's uh what's my concept of okay my podcast it's a bush and for any sister by an asymptote or say what tv program i check now on your comment section and now oti ohwe comment na na ohwe caption na wo hunu asem kora maker inti me basa masa ba djemu dia obetwa me interview eh o se kwana ba that lady also let lost also virgin oh oh ha de, you, you are not a virgin how do you know <laughs> how do you know okay. joking i have no i'm not i'm a mom yeah you have uh, two children yes so you are not a virgin you see this lady is really pretty i admire her from afar thank you edward osei uh osei how do you spell it what i think the lobola lobola it's l o b o l a lobola as i'm saying it lobola rikus is asking why did you left the church okay. why did she left the church okay so why okay. did you leave the church okay so this is what happened uh-huh. And honestly my reasoning capacity then it was different from now. Mm-hmm. So my mom is Tosa. Was okay. Tosa. Okay. My, my dad was yes and then my dad Zulu. Mm-hmm. So I'm a mix of Umzulu and Tosa. Umzulu and Tosa. Okay. But because my parents were not married so mm-hmm. obviously I perform the maternal side in everything the same and all that. And my mom coming from a Tosa nation they didn't know about the Shembe thing Tosa nation Tosa nation mm-hmm. they, they 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 had glimpses of what was Shembe but the Shembe then wasn't exposed as now because we have social media platforms and all that so my mom when she passed on mm-hmm. she wanted to be buried the Shembe way so there's a Shembe way how you they, how they bury you and my mom's family not being aware how things were supposed to be done mm-hmm. so we had a, a, a leader at church for for women who had to help me uh, to dress my mom because when you pass on as a shembe person mm-hmm. there's a there's a nazaret the, there's oh. a white dress that they designed for you that they you have to dress okay And my mom wanted to be buried on Sunday because of we were respecting the Sabbath day. Mm. So which means that she was supposed to be buried on Sunday. I got very angry at the church. To I was very very angry at them because my mom had to to be driven to Eastern Cape and from Joburg to Eastern Cape it's 15 hours drive. Okay. So my mom's body was supposed to be driven to Eastern Cape with no one as a church member none oh okay going back to what you said that why you when you don't have money ah okay so you have the experience already yes because now <laughs> now at our church you were somebody mm-hmm. who was respected because of you have money mm-hmm. so in my church i knew that mr makubela was there everybody would even lick his toes because of he had money yes and i come from a poor background that's what i'm saying my mom was not a noticeable person in church my mm-hmm. family was not noticeable so drove here to eastern cape i i need to bury my mom mm-hmm. with a shame way okay i have a rude uncle who doesn't even understand that mm-hmm. one when you are buried as a shame way they don't put you in a casket they don't put you in a casket mm-hmm. even though it will be bought obviously because of its the rule but okay. they break it 
So my mom had to be buried with um Chasochre. Chasochre dina mimpini mawi. Nyabutu na ibwa mantiu. Chasochre dina mimpini mawi. Mimpini mawi. Okay. Uh-huh. Somebody is also asking what do they preach about? You finished why okay, you left the church? Why I'm, you left the church? I will go there. Uh, so now she had to be wrapped with a cow skin. You wrap with a blanket mm-hmm. and wrap with a cow, cow skin. Or in the name of the church. Because oh, that's the, how Shembe people are buried. Your church? Yes. Okay. So now there's a certain way even how they do your graveyard. They have to dig it six feet under but still make a room mm. inside. They have to have a room that they will chaff you there. Mm-hmm. So not have experienced because i was still young i was i was 17 and now not knowing i had to keep on calling okay so i had to direct people okay now we're done with this what should we do and my uncle was standing like this you know what my sister is a witch it's the first time i that i see someone being buried with a monkey you know because it was taboo to them it was something that they've never seen before and now we have to be directed by people who are not even here i don't have support um, it's only me and my siblings who are wearing this shembe things, mm-hmm. bearing my mom in a shembe way. And we grew up being told that church is your second home, it's mm-hmm. your second family. So ever since that day, I never went back. Mm-hmm. That's how I left the church. And I was still a virgin. I left the church since that day. But now, as I mentioned, the reasoning capacity, it was more of maybe if I knew better, I would have left that branch and go to another one. Maybe they would have been different people from the ones that I was exposed to. So what do they preach about? <sighs> we have we have our own Charles Martin. Mm-hmm. We have our own book for songs. We don't sing general songs. Okay. Uh, it's more like how they do it at a Methodist at uh, what what else? A church they have their own books that they they sing the song so we have a different one with the bible we read bible but i don't remember i think everywhere where it says god they say shembe everywhere that they say god they say shembe so we things were told that everything you have to do it the shembe way because that's what the the, the 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 logo says as well the mm. the slogan shembe is the way mm, okay so that's what you preached shembe 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 whatever that you say where there's the there's god they put shembe so it was more of they always even he, so it's like you don't even know your god you are worshiping shembe yes 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 it was okay. like that and what is shembe who is the owner of that shembe shembe they say <laughs> they say i mean it was a long time ago i mean it's mm-hmm. been 20 it's been 20 years me not being at that church okay um Ushembe, it was one of god's prophets jesus prophets they say jesus prophet in south africa or what i don't know but there's a history i think most of people they can go to history of shembe how did shembe became a leader <laughs> okay yeah so Ushembe was one of those who claimed that he was God sent, but it, it went from generation to another. Like if you are the first Shembe and mm-hmm. then you die as your son, I take. Rikus is said, uh, it's very good. It's very good you left as they refused to help when you were in need of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, besides that, I, I think I made a right. It was more of collateral beauty for me. Okay, so spell the church again. It's, uh, the Shemme is what? S S H E M B E. Okay, Shembe. Shembe. Oh, okay. okay. And Shembe, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's someone's clan, clan name. Like a, a Kwanaba is the way. Ah, okay. So the Shembe is Boating, someone's clan name. Clan name. And okay. then now, when the first Shembe passed on, the child. Mm-hmm. take over oh and okay it's a generational thing so there's shembe first shembe third shembe what shembe and that first. shembe is the prophet of god he says okay and then now i just found out that they split it because of apparently 
Kshembe said God said he should fly to him and then he created wings. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know the whole story please can I not be crucified for this but how I heard the story is Shembe said God is calling him okay and his way to go to get to God he created some wings with the um, what is this iron material I think something like that and then and while fly. he was flying He, he came fell back and he fell and died. Oh, okay, but <laughs> he was able to fly. Obvious. If you are on the mountain or something. Oh, he started from the, the cliff, he started from the mountain. He had to get the cliff, of course. He has some great. I heard about that. I don't know how to use because I haven't been to church for 20 years. But I heard that. <laughs> that's, that's how he died. Mm. He created some wings. And then he went to the cliff and then yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> crashed, he crashed and died. Africa, I said, but you was in your video anyway. Uh somebody says you want to follow your page. So, uh, give me <laughs> say I'm scramble life with sleep. Okay, say it again. I'm scramble life <laughs> with sleep. I'm scramble life with sleep. Please write it down. Okay, you write it here. You write it yourself. You know, my eyes are so bad. Uh, write it yourself. Eh, uh, oba oba mi studio na e jose o pese e na busa me na fire me ma test ni di na so no kwali e. O yare class ni gana for me be na. Nde omo obreyi power sasi so e wo se sembe we san wa wan zem. Eh okay, nti eh that is that is on scrabble life with uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. That's my yeah. And scramble life with sleep. Okay. So now I he- I heard that they have a different branch now. Others they chose because of now there was some fights. Mm-hmm. Others chose their own path. Mm-hmm. Others chose their own path. So now I think we have two shambles. Ah, uh, so now it's, one, so now one. number one shambles, number two shambles. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I know. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you are also going to heaven or your shambles is a different thing. My shambles. The church. They are also going to heaven. I You know Shembe performs traditions, right? I uh, said it's a clan. So uh, be abushia bosom or dia tia sorry. They allowed to perform mm-hmm. culture tradition ceremonies okay. and all that. Okay. So I really don't remember I haven't been there for 20 years and my belief have just it it completely changed that's mm-hmm. not how i see world now that's not what i believe in i don't even believe that i have to talk to my god through somebody mm-hmm. i don't believe in all of that but and now that my mom was buried uh, with with the thing with the cow skin like for me it doesn't make sense but it made sense to her and we had to respect that so i don't know if they go to hell or to heaven because those people when it's saturday it's different We don't wear shoes. A Konaba family uh, they said they are going to follow your page. Thank you Auntie, so much. Auntie Bruni said yes, uh, she's going to follow your page. Thank you so much. I'll follow uh, back. Yours. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, th- I think those are are the most topics that I'll be on about sex and polygamy and Stop. other stuff of course. I'm not going to be boxing myself but i think those were my gonna be my first priorities mm. yeah. afro topical tv said a lot of people are mad in africa i know right <laughs> i know right i mean there are things that we ex- we, were ex- we saw uh, people waking up in coffins um, people eating grass snakes others they were Dooming you, they say it's a, uh, for you to be blessed. They need to put doom on say, the face. Say, say they are called spiritual tabas. Spiritual taba. Okay, it's called spiritual taba. Taba. Okay. So before you were, you were a spiritual taba. Me. Before. Me. Before, because now you stopped. Yes. But what is spiritual taba? Spiritual taba. I'm not saying no. I was never part of people who, who eat snakes and all. No, no, I'm coming, talking about the shame, shame is or whatever. My life with Shembe. Mm. It's 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 other parts are a bit blurry. Okay. Because I was still young. I mean, 
and it's 20 years ago uh-huh. other parts are blurry but those are vivid to me it's those that i was performing like you when we go in because mm-hmm. it was nice meet, meeting other girls okay looking at each other's bums and all that washing in the same river flowing singing mm-hmm. and all of that it was really nice that one I'm, i'm like i know it as i know because but other things that were happening in the church are not aware of and then the the Rikus just read about you all this they said shemesh region is a combination of zulu culture and christianity mm-hmm. uh, so it's, it's fine mm-hmm. so before you were a spiritual taba okay. now it's fine and now i don't go to church because no, there's fine. no church that i relate to okay it's hard for me okay yeah so abushanfo eh eh di edin common besia medina tia aha meda dwum mu ne enti di besia i say she is zulu yeah you said you are zulu so mm-hmm. uh, but I, i don't call myself zulu i call myself kosa because as i said that in my in my culture if your parents they mm-hmm. were not married automatically you fall from your maternity part of the family the maternal by like origin like if your parents were not married you're not recognized on your father's side because as there are things that are they are performed when the child is born so i was never introduced in my father's side because side so i yeah i call myself because because everything that i know it's from my mother's side they are asking is your podcast going to be in english Yeah, oh, oh, you know why they asking? Remember when I was introducing I, I was praising my clans, I was saying them in Kosa. Okay. Because when I started I was like Botani don 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 so I was speaking. Yes, it's going to be in What is bo- what is bo- Botani? Botani? My name is Hello. No, Botani it <laughs> Botani it means hello. Ah, okay. Yeah, hello so, everyone. Botani do 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 do. Botani, Botani. Did I say Bayana? I said Botani ma Africa ma hle Botani sizo zasekhaya sasemzansi Africa igama lami ndingusilindile wa kwanufela intombi yomxhosa. Uma mpinga umbhalo kaqosho into umntwana ingabi nobo yayifuna abantwana ifuna abadala. Sibumbu umitha kanjani ubho xakile phuma abantwana nanifuna udlala nonyoko. Okay. Yeah. So those are my praises and they are they are swearing it's swearing clan do you brief when you are speaking <laughs> yes mm. <laughs> when i'm saying my clan you know my clan it it, it curses a lot mm. all these things that i was saying it's curse ah yeah all this one is curses yeah 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 like it says cursing who it says umampinge it's my clan name okay so it says into mm-hmm. yomntwan so it says a child's very jj should okay. start having a pubic hair it means that it doesn't want boys it wants men mm-hmm. that's what it says mm. and then it says kids get out i want to play with your mom mm. womb how do you get pregnant while you are upside down that's what it says mm. so it's kissing okay <laughs> yeah. but on your podcast is going to be english of course um mm. i i have i have american friends as well so remember my my line of work so yeah yeah I see. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I will interview you personally. I will also interview you, okay? okay? okay. About um, the religion, I mean Christianity, how you guys do your thing in South Africa. Okay. Um, you are in South Africa, so you can give me more information about that. I have been exposed to three churches in my life growing up. Mm-hmm. I was in, introduced as Yoni where they 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 using a drum and mm-hmm. then they wear yellow green what what they say you have spirits and then uh St. John's and Shembe mm-hmm. those ones i can share what i know yeah, yeah. i'll But interview I've you been... on that three no problem yeah so no maybe problem. next week no problem just watch it and then they ask me to so on your mama babs and then they ask me to oba me your bro for so on your closing remarks then we can uh, finish this whole in zulu language eh? what should i say uh like a cool and bullet like it's how you want to and the attempt of bazon kiss into this or kanya magbetos it daily did it come up and i'm so gonna pay lily up diabulela okay lango yes that's it eh a bush for said yeah and i know it may be chairman tevina oh you mean i miss me to see me they want to call na oyare kakrapa as an wedding spiritual taba and see they want your taba be be at the din but me try interview next week 
Next week our interview is fine. Eh? No problem. Okay. Na my interview me busa na sorry me ensa na osu akoda no. Say the city was South Africa and waka dia chere. Then then dem dem busia. O say kwana ba is being cursed. Eh you you keep on cursing me. Masa. <laughs> I wasn't cursing you. I was praising my clan. That was my clan that I was praising. Ah okay. Uni <laughs> esu anka ese mo. Asa me clan ya bi she. Ebe <laughs> na eye fita no so no na eji en kaboni bia wo no mu bia any tea stains coffee stains smoking stains bia wo wo no mu bia unique laser whitening product e be yin nyina free so ma kama kama de wo hia ne se wo betu so na wo de gu wo brush no so wo wiya na wo de twetwe wo sene so nyina kama wo wiya en wo wo no mu gen wo no mu sa inte contact unique laser whitening e wo 079 9979923300079992330 unique laser whitening or say muni ses Penny for se bibi wi ase tine da ni atopno na ne papa ne fonti e wo se mo bombo hu hia na ne papa mu de pro technologies ana me kan for mawo ane pro technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of cctv cameras yes ton e sa install cctv cameras in the sawa gun and na sa bro chire na ofi o gun na beso e cctv camera installation we need pro technologies and in sa wo so yes cctv camera installation electric fence automated gate access control video door bell and our intercom and our satellite tv home theater so we'll be at all and our talk and our person installing my pro technologies and our software now 